Okay, let's look at dividing fractions. We're going to be using keep change flip. We're going to keep this fraction the same, change the sign of multiplication, and flip this second one. And so that's what it looks like when we keep change flip. And now we can multiply by brute force. And so now this is what we have. Let's cancel some of this. As you can see, I broke down the 20 to 5 times 4 and the 8 into 4 times 2. That way we can cancel. I can cancel. Cancel, cancel. I'm left with 3 over 2. Everything is positive, so I don't need to worry about the signs. If you're strong at reducing, the shorter version would be we'll reduce right here. 5 goes into 5 one time, into 20 four times. 4 goes into 4 one time, into 8 two times. 3 times 1, 3 over 1 times 2, 2, 3 over 2. Same answer. These problems get increasingly difficult and more useful as we get to the end. So those who are highly motivated, um, stick around to the end for the most effective tools that you'll need down the road. Let's look at another example. We can use keep change flip when we um, divide a fraction by a whole number or vice versa. But first we need to recognize that negative three is negative three over one. Same thing. Now we can keep change flip. Now all that's left to do is multiply by brute force. Negative, negative, when we uh, multiply it as positive. One times one, one. Four times three, 12, one, 12. Let's look at another example. So here we have six over 13 divided by nine over 26. We keep change flip. So now once we keep change flip, we're gonna do the same thing. Combine and reduce. I'm going to break these guys down. This is the prime factorization. Everything is prime. Now let's cancel. 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 That's all we can cancel. I see 2 times 2 over 3. That's 4 over 3. And of course you could have done it here. 13 goes into 13 one time, into 26, two times. 3 goes into 6, two times, into 9, three times. 4 over 3, much faster. If you can do it this way, else go through this. So here's that bonus example. I take a negative 2 thirds. I want to multiply by that by something to make it equal 1. This is called a multiplicative. Easy for me to say. This is called a mock multiplicative inverse. That is, I'm going to inverse this, inverse everything here to make sure that's positive. So I'm going to multiply it by a negative 3 over 2. Because cancel, 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 cancel. Everything is 1. Negative, negative is positive. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is... It's 1. So... That's your multiplicative inverse. It's a valuable tool that you will need going forward. And this is everything that we have now. Example one, two, three, four. We keep change flip. We, when we have a whole number, we put it over one and still we keep change flip. Always multiplying by root force. And this was another example. You see, it could have been a lot quicker if we, we know our multiplication well. Multiplicative inverse is what we ended with. So hopefully that helps.